perfect. We have eight hours until tomorrow morning. Enough time to make it to Minamoto Heavy Industries and back. These ladies have rented the whole club for tonight. There won't be anybody aside from us. We must find a way to make sure they forget everything that happened. Good idea. I think the ventilation system's remote is inside one of those display windows. Probably the one closest to the resting lounge. Good job. Go get ready in the basement. We can reach Minamoto Heavy Industries underground levels directly from there. There are 15 pounds of explosives left in the box in the basement. We'll take it. It should be enough to blow up Kaguya's storage core. This is the plan. We'll pose as Hydra's Execution Bureau and access Minamoto Heavy Industries' inner district through the sewers. Any questions? An Anaki? Uh, why are we heading to Minamoto Heavy Industries? That's the headquarters of... We're gonna find out what they're hiding, and while we're at it, we'll also blow up Kaguya. They have to pay for all the wrong they've done. It's way too risky to head right into the lion's den without more people. If you're too scared, stay and look after the girls. Huh. Do I look like someone who'd back down from a fight? Hurry, the elevator is straight ahead. Let's get up there. <laughs> that was lucky. We got in without a hitch. Is this place a warehouse? Doesn't seem all that important. Stop talking and start walking. The Execution Bureau is swarming all over this place. If we stay, they'll find us. Which level, Anaki? I hadn't thought of that. But the most important floor is definitely the top one. Let's go up and see. No, no, no. It's gonna be more heavily guarded than anywhere else. Let's follow the original plan and blow up Kaguya first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let's blow up Kaguya's core first. You bastard! Why are you late? Sumimasen. You really shouldn't be apologizing. On the battlefield, one can only apologize once. That is when speaking one's last words. You two, get those boxes to Shinto straight away. The rest of you, follow me. You stay here to keep a record. When the Execution Bureau arrives, have them escort the rest of these boxes to Shinto. Me? Uh, okay. 
You punk. Is that how you speak to your chief? Go take your punishment after we finish the task. And you, help carry those boxes right now. It's the first time the police department has come with a search warrant. They want to start trouble? Don't concern yourself with something so trivial, Jisei. Our war against the Devil Clan has made the Diet uneasy. And this is the only way they have to show their disapproval. I know that it will be a real pain to relocate these files to Shinto, but it's the safest thing to do. They won't have any way of knowing that the building as a hidden chamber. The only thing that still worries me is God. We have no clue whatsoever. We must keep on looking for the King's Blade and the Dragon Lord. News of the principal? An S-ranked hybrid whose extra skill is time zero. If he chooses to stay in the shadows, no one on Earth will be able to track him down. Why are you stalling? I told you to take the files to Shinto. Get moving! Where's Luminous? Did he get held up? Well, no worries. With the way he looks, I'm sure he'll be safe. Let's investigate while we wait for him. I just had a look around. Nothing except for the murals. Johan Chu, you're the expert on this. Can you figure out what they're about? These murals resemble the ones in Dunhuang, probably about 2,000 years old. I'm not interested in an artistic appraisal. But why do you think they are so important to Hydra? To the point that they have been stored in a special hiding place? I think they're telling us the real history according to Hydra. This mural... It's the Dark King. And the Light King. What else is there? I can only try to decipher a small part of it. These murals contain a lot of dragon history that we've never heard of. Hydra knows the value of the murals. That's why they're hiding them here. They've never informed the college about them. Have you got a camera? These murals are extremely valuable. Even an image of them would be very helpful to our research. Look at this. What is... the Emperor? Ever heard of him? According to these murals, the Emperor is a super hybrid that can ignore the limit of the blood threshold. The Emperor has the potential to be as powerful as the Dragon Lord. From the moment of his birth, he is destined to be the leader of Hydra. The young clan chief. Well, let's see. Does anybody we know spring to mind when you think about it? It's Geo Shalone! His underlings call him the Young Chief. Unbelievable. Anyone who crosses the Blood Threshold becomes a Death Servitor. Light and King are hidden in the Emperor character. The Light... King... Damn it, these guys are the descendants of the Light King! This series of murals is named The Real Life of the White Emperor. It tells the history of the Light King. The Light King has control over the spiritual element, a trait he passed to the Emperor. So, even if the Emperor should happen to venture beyond the Blood Threshold, he will never turn into a Death Servitor. Wait! That elevator ding. Somebody is coming up. It must be that... humanoid dragon. Johan Chu, finish taking pictures of the murals. We'll buy you some time. 
This is way more important than blowing up Kaguya. He's coming! Prepare yourselves! You sure got here fast, oh great super hybrid. You're still alive. That's good. Hello again, Caesar Gattuso. You won't be able to leave. The building's in lockdown. Are you going to surrender or fight and lose? If it's the latter, I can't guarantee that your lives will be spared. Personal safety? You were our backup. And you left us to our own devices 8,000 meters under the sea! Emperor or not, you've made a mistake. Now you must pay. Yes. I have made many mistakes. And now, I have to make even more. We are at an impasse in terms of our belief and position. There is only one way out. You didn't really think the Almighty Emperor could be dethroned like this, did you? Mr. Chisei Gen, the great super hybrid! Let's get out of here first. Yes. Get rid of the lock and lead us to the main server room, where Kaguya is. You won't be able to get in. I don't have permission to enter the main computer room. Mr. Tachibana has both the key and the code. Then how can we get out of this damn place? Tell me! The only way is through the elevator shaft. Move, we're under attack! These death servitors are man-made. They were sent here as a part of some elaborate plan. I believe we have common ground to stand on. School rules stipulate that we have to protect humans from dragons and death servitors. We will work with you. You've got to be kidding me. This is the venerable Emperor? I refuse to believe it! He nearly killed us! He cut the cable and left us to die! Yes. Give me a chance, and I will have you surrounded and made prisoners. It doesn't matter if you have done Hydra any favors. I have three things to say. The first is that what a man does has nothing to do with his personal debts. Something as trivial as that cannot be his motivation. The second is that I am a man of the underworld. I have done things far worse than leaving you down in the Mariana Trench. I freely admit that I am not a good man. The third is that you won't take me away from here. If you are not willing to help me, then leave me my katana. As the leader of my clan, I have a duty to fight. Damn it! If one can't follow one sense of justice, what is the point of living? As I said, I only have three things to say, and now I have said them. Everyone, we don't have much time left. I don't believe you, but I'll give you a chance. Because there are innocent people who actually do. They are coming. Get ready. You brought explosives with you? How much is left? Fifteen pounds, but explosions have little effect on them. They are resistant to the shockwaves, but if we set this whole place on fire, the fat content within their bodies will explode. The Hall of Murals is an enclosed space. 
We can set the fire there and take the elevator down before the explosion. The Death Servitors won't survive. The High Patriarch is about to commit arson in his own home? I am honored to be of assistance. We'll have an easier time burning them all if they're gathered together. They're attracted to my blood, so I'll be the bait. Let's divide and set up the charges. I wonder how Geo Shalone is getting on. I certainly hadn't expected him to set fire to his own home so readily. Do you trust that guy? He hasn't run off, has he? Since we're working together, we have no choice but to trust him. Remember that dragon blood runs through his veins, and dragons have no real feeling. Don't trust him. Fine. I can tell that you are ready. Let's go and rendezvous with Geo Shalone at the elevator. Why are the Death Servitors kneeling before him? Some kind of... mind control? No, this is gravity manipulation. It's Chisei Gen's extra skill. Extra skill, sovereignty. All creatures inside its force field, except those designated by the caster, will suffer gravity a hundredfold. Looks like he's planning on attracting the Death Servitors with his blood. I suppose he will subsequently proceed to crush them with his sovereign power. The power of the Emperor. Go. Ah, uh, go now. He can't resist any longer. Take this guy and go. We'll hold them off. are after Chisei Gen's blood. We need to burn his bloodied clothes. It's no use. The Death Servitors will soon realize that it's not alive. We must take those clothes with us. You went back inside the trench first. This time, leave it to me. Let me know when the elevator comes. I'll get out as quickly as possible. Cover me. Uh, take this. You and Johan Chu up at the college, you two are rivals. That guy is so annoying. He may appear easygoing, but he's actually extremely stubborn. Once he makes up his mind, there's no changing it. That's just the kind of person I hate the most. But I too can be stubborn. Once I decide on something, nobody can change my mind. I guess that's why we ended up as opponents. We're almost there. Send a signal to Johan. Why isn't he back? Damn it, he must have got swarmed by the Death Servitors. He can't deal with them all on his own. We must rescue him. It's too late. The explosion is about to go off. We can't save him. You can't get him back from a group of Death Servitors. If my friend can leave, you won't be allowed to leave either. On the battlefield, everyone is expendable. Your duty as team leader is to make sure as many people survive as possible. No, I am not the team leader. I'm simply a friend of justice. My sense of justice will not allow me to leave a friend behind. And I am willing to die for what I believe in. Back 
for me, it's not a smart decision. You think I'm doing this for you? I'm the team leader! There's no way I'm leaving a comrade behind. So this is what it means... to be... on the side of justice. Go back and make sure that guy doesn't get away. We'll leave once we've dealt with this trash. Servitors like my blood. Now this has my blood on it. Throw it into the corner to attract their attention. That's the only way those two can have a shot at staying alive. The dynamite is about to explode. Go! You're still alive? You scared me. You were covered in blood! Just my luck. I wait for them to move the boxes, finally get into the elevator, and then an earthquake! I don't know which floor the elevator dropped to. When I got out, I saw you floating there. Let me tell you, pulling you out wasn't easy. Huh? Where's Anakin and the others? Why aren't you together? Oh, I see. Your trip sure was eventful. My luck doesn't seem so bad anymore. Oh. We're still inside Minamoto Heavy Industries. Let's get out of this place, then we can talk. I don't really know my way around here, but a GPS app popped up on my phone, and I followed it to you. We could use the GPS to get out of here. What do you think? <laughs> no, it just popped up on my phone. I don't know where it came from. Let's go, follow me. Here we are. This is where the GPS is leading us to. Suki Yumi Kinshio. Sounds like some geeky anime term. I wonder. Uh, why don't you go ahead and take the lead? What is this place? Why are there death servitors? I can't believe that stupid GPS led us here. I knew that little devil couldn't be trusted. Let's get out, quick! What's going on? I can't open this door. It wasn't locked when we came in! Now I understand. It's that little devil. <sighs> he didn't want to help us get out of this place. He wanted to lead us right here! I don't have any choice but to trust him again. Even though he screws me every time, since the deal isn't done yet, 
He can't do anything too terrible. Let's be cautious and try to find out what's in here. We've met before. Don't you remember me? My name... My name is... Sakura Lu. That one over there is my classmate. By the way, this... This little yellow duck? Miss Harry. <laughs> Death Serpenters! Let's... Let's go... You really don't like me, do you? Who would like something like that? They want to eat me! Don't tell me you like them! I don't care either way. If Sakura doesn't like them, let's kill them. Horrible. Isn't this Hydra's ultimate weapon? How could we come across it here? If Anakin and Senpai were here, they'd be real excited, but right now it's only you and me, and she wants us to wait for her. Hey, how about we just leave her here and run for our lives? Would it work? Oh man. We'll have to face her then? Let's go see what she wants us to do. Huh? What? Where to? Servitors everywhere! You really know your drinks. Can't we buy them once we go out? Whoa, a vending machine in a place like this? Okay, okay. I'll get it for you right away. Thanks.
That's Tokyo Tower. You can go right up to the top. There's no better view of the city. Have some hot coffee. It beats those citrus drinks by a mile on a day like this. Phone is a survivor! Boss, I got him. Fine. Well done. I am Chisei Gen. Please settle down, everyone. The lockdown will soon be lifted. Those of you who are leaving just now, the next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Hey, sayonara. <sighs> we actually made it out. I guess Hydra must be in total disarray, since I stole the princess away from them. They'll be on our tracks by now. We should go find a place to lie low. I'll take that as a yes. This way, come. Princess, why have you stopped? You'll get used to it. There are so many things you haven't seen. But unless you get moving, they'll catch you, and that will be it. What are you doing? You can't run a red light. You are a spoilt mafia princess, so of course you don't have to work. But I have to help out around the stage every day in order to earn a living. It must be nice to have so much money. Anyway, this is where I usually am. They should be gone now. Looks like the princess is really important to Hydra. We need to find a place to hide. Otherwise, sooner or later they'll find us. Would it kill you to have some half-decent taste? How can you actually like flashy, bling-bling places like this one? That place is crawling with death servitors, just like the ones earlier. Your brother's there. Hotel 69. Uh, well, at least it's a hotel, I guess. Welcome to Hotel 69. Your girlfriend is a real stunner, sir. We only have one room left, third floor. 
Take the elevator, please. Hey, stop that. She's not... I mean, Princess, we have three people here. Phew, that sure is a relief. They actually prepared three beds for us. It looks like nobody's sleeping in the bathroom tonight. That's not you. There's only one Airy in this world. When you think about it, that's kind of lonely. Uh... It's raining heavily. Don't look! She's really into taking showers. But how could a Japanese girl know the classic moves gorgeous girls use to turn down losers? I can't believe I heard I'm gonna take a shower, and just automatically thought of that. But Nono never told me that she'd go and take a shower. She would just say, look at you. I never thought that I would fall for Nono. And I don't know if I'll ever fall for anyone else ever again. Finger said that love is a present tense kind of thing. If you can fall in love with two different people, then more will follow. But I'll never forget Nono. And I don't want to fall for anyone else. I don't want what we had to turn into a mere memory. Why am I telling you all this? You should go to Takamagahara and talk things over with Anaki and Senpai. So we meet again. Genchief's blade was too sharp last time. I owe you an introduction. It must be fate to give us a second chance. Allow me to introduce myself. Ruri Kazama, Lord of the Devil Clan. Uchise Gen happens to be my older brother. Your interest in me is not as big as my interest in you. <laughs> anyway, we should solve the most pressing problem first. Excuse me, is this Takamagahara Bar? This is Ruri Kazama. Sorry to trouble you. Master... Kazama? 
Takamagahara is truly honored by your presence. Huh. I've heard so much about Whale Senpai. Please, go easy for my sake. I, I've been to the same bar you went to in Osaka! Can, can I give you a hug? No, thank you very much. I'm nothing but a visiting guest. May I extend an invitation to be a guest at my Kabuki performance? And if it suits you, I will fulfill your wish then. I... I'll be there! Is there anything that Master Ruri Kazama wishes to be done? Ukyo, Sakura, the Sara King. Your names have been spread far and wide, and I've always wanted to meet you. Dear old friends, it's always nice to meet them. Indeed, we've shared many beautiful moments. I'm here to invite you to my Kabuki performance tomorrow night. It would be nice to welcome you there. I'm Chimei Gen, second son of the Gen clan. Chisei Gen is my older brother. I'd love to see you on the stage. The invitation bears the Devil Clan's emblem on it. Not to mention that it was delivered by their number two. I wonder what's going on. Either way, since he had the balls to visit us by himself, we should return the favor. By the way, how are things going with you and Luminous? Also, have you met Rory Kazama before? So, Luminous has managed to get a heavily guarded monster out of there. She has a high level extra skill, but also suffers from a severe cognitive impairment. Ariyo Asugi has met Luminous only once, and now she's willing to run away with him? Doesn't this sound fishy? As someone coming into contact with the outside world for the first time, it's essential she's accompanied by someone she has absolute trust in. Luminous. Go figure. It might have something to do with her mental instability. A Hydra has imprisoned her inside an old house, probably in fear of her losing it. The only thing keeping her from going berserk is probably Luminous. She trusts him, but that in itself is odd enough. If she's in danger of losing control, it means she's either at the blood threshold or even past it. She's even more powerful than she say again. The only explanation is that the chief of the Uesugi clan is an outlier. The opposite of the Emperor is... Devil? A mentally and physically unstable monster. That's Hydra's secret weapon? Our biggest problem right now is what to do with the secret weapon. She's with Luminous, so I'll have him keep a watchful eye on her. Just because she trusts Luminous for no reason? I don't know why she is so attached to Luminous. But since she seems to be stable when she's with him, for the time being we can rest easy. Go back, and tell Luminous to make sure Eri Uesugi stays put. Again, I'm Mai Sakatoku, and this is Enshi Su. We are the owners of this club. In other words, we are the ones who saved you and Caesar's team. And now, it's time for you to return the favor. Don't worry, I'm a reasonable woman. I need you to make sure Luminous and Eri Uesugi fall in love. You have seven days. At the end of the seventh day, there will be a wedding.
The boss has decided nobody can question this decision. And that includes the boss's old friends. Long legs, you're going to scare him off. <laughs> Come, meet our brains. You are all here because you are amongst the best in your respective fields. I'm glad you accepted our invitation to join the production team of this reality show. As you all know, we will be following the budding romance between two everyday people. To ensure their love is genuine, our two subjects have had their memories erased. Your job will be to interact and give advice to the couple and help steer their perfect romance. This is a friend of our Prince Charming. He'll be working with us on the front line. Now it's your turn to introduce yourselves. Shunji Kumagaya, personal stylist. Uh, Ryoji Suzuki, relationship counselor. Yui Makuma, model. Kenji Takamiya, currently unemployed, just getting by. We've only got seven days. This means they will need to fall in love within six days. Their wedding will be held at the end of the seventh day, at dusk. We still have some time before we start working. Does anyone have any questions? Tokyo Love Story. The most perfect romance ever created in the whole wide world. <laughs> 